Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that I haven't done a video for a bit most of Wednesday, November 4th, or January 4th, I meant to say. I kept thinking it was November of 2022. Please forgive me on my track of days being mi mixed up. Uh, I'm returning to you for January 5th, actually, for a this is actually going to be a premiere video tonight for the movie review for A Man Called Otto that I just got done watching the Tom Hanks movie and I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on this movie because I know it kept saying it's coming out on January 13th as of now it was supposed to be January 6th is when it was supposed to be initially released in everywhere in theaters but yeah, I haven't seen anything for it yet. But still, I'm going to discuss what I watched for this uh, man called Auto movie, which I'm reviewing it on January 4th. I didn't mean to say November 4th. I kind of messed up with what I was saying for that brief moment, so please forgive me on that. And I'll let you know my thoughts on this a man called Auto uh, movie. So let's dive into this movie review. Now this came out 2022, 2023. It's in the middle with it coming out towards the end of the year to this new year. But basically with what I watched with this movie, I was, I think it's a good movie. Um, it has some heart to it some of the time. But basically you're not really liking Tom Hanks' character for the majority of it until later on. And you start to understand his character a bit more. But basically he plays a man called Otto Anderson. And he lost his wife due to a bus accident. It doesn't explain it till close to the like hour and 20 minute mark of the movie or something like that. But it gets closer to the end of the movie when he starts talking about it uh, to someone. But basically... With what I watched with this movie, I was, I think it's not a bad movie. It's solid. Um, it has its good moments, but the beginning has its kind of, you don't know if you're going to like Tom Hanks' character because he's a grumpy, uh, grumpy person and all that through most of it. So, grumpy old man and he just is bitching at everyone on what they've done wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. That's life for you, I guess. But basically, with what I watched with this movie, I think it's an average movie. It's not the worst movie. Tom Hanks' performance is pretty good through most of it. But you're just unsure if you like the beginning of the movie because he's kind of hard on some people in the beginning of the movie and putting each other's characters down in this movie but basically yeah this movie had a good story to it eh, it's a solid movie so definitely give it a shot and see what you think of it for a man called Otto so overall in my opinion I think the movie a man called Otto that I just reviewed for you guys I guess I'm gonna call it a 2023 movie I it said 2022, but I think it's a 2023 movie, I believe, because the movie does come out everywhere January 13th, so I might be reviewing it a little too soon, but I'm just waiting, basically, to see what they say. I thought it was January 6th that was supposed to come out, but I guess they delayed it another week for it to be released everywhere. So, first score for me. I'm giving this movie, A Man Called Otto, a 7.5 out of 10. Tom Hanks' performance was pretty good in this movie. And certain other characters and actors and actresses in this movie did pretty well with what they were given with the script. So I wasn't disappointed with how this movie turned out. I think it's not a bad movie. It just has its weak moments at the beginning of the movie, and then it starts picking up when you get to the second part of the movie, to the final act of the movie. Or the second act and the final act are the best parts 
of the movie, so in my opinion. So 7.5 out of 10 for A Man Called Otto. Not the best movie, but it's something. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of this, I guess, 2023 movie for A Man Called Otto, if you've seen it. And if you enjoyed this movie review I did for you guys for A Man Called Otto. This says it came out December 30th in like Los Angeles and all that and it premiered there and then I guess it got a worldwide release a few days later um but I don't know it's this movie is being iffy about wanting a, an official US release date but it's getting a US release date next Friday of course January 13th so if you did enjoy this movie review I did for you guys I'm still gonna release it anyway and hopefully you'll enjoy it at midnight tonight. Comment below and let me know what you guys thought of this uh, movie review for A Man Called Otto. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel. I will have another movie review for A Pale Blue Eye, I believe is what it's called. I'm going to check that movie out and then I'm going to find the old way and... Check out the new Anti-Flag album that should be leaked tomorrow on Alter Portal. I'll just have to wait and see when it gets really leaked and all that. I just gotta wait, of course. Because usually Thursdays I get my new music. Get some new music that I download and all that. So I just gotta wait and see what happens. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this movie review for A Man Called Otto. Sorry that I said November 4th. At the beginning of this review, I was messing up with what I was saying. But hopefully you still enjoyed the review for what it was. I meant to say January 4th, but I got my months mixed up. So please forgive me on that. So stay safe, guys. Take care. There will be another movie review for Christian Bale's new movie, A Pale Blue Eye, I believe is what it's called, um, that I'm going to be reviewing next. And as always, I will see you in my next review. This review is premiering at midnight on January 5th, so definitely stay tuned for this, and I'll see you in my next review.